Good morning everyone, it's Tanya of Cute and Cuddly Nursery. This might look a little different than my usual painting table because this is my silicone painting table. So, sorry my work surface is a little messy. Um, I do need to change, um, I don't know what you call this, mats, whatever it is. Um, so this is basil, and yes, this looks a little odd, but, um, the, I found that putting her head on a bottle is actually, it makes it so easy for me to paint. <laughs> so she is a ball jointed, uh, full body silicone and she's little. I'll show you how, you know, big her head is compared to my hand. So she does have an open mouth and, um, little, there's a little tongue in there and everything. And I've painted a little bit yesterday. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but um, I did a layer of red yesterday just to kind of add some, um, I see some little hairs on her, uh, add some uh, mottling and also for my red layer. So because she is a full body girl and anatomically correct, I'm not going to show um, her body, at least not at this time, because I don't want to get any, like, copyright, or not copyright, but strikes against me anyway for showing a baby girl. So, um, I thought I would show some veining today, uh, just on her head, because like I said, I'm not gonna show her, the rest of her. So, um, now I use the Fusion, or Fusion, Fuse FX. Um, silicone paint. This is Sasha Vane Blue. And this is, these are just trial size paints um, that I purchased from Daily Creations. And Daily is D-A-L-E-Y, I think. Um, and then Creations is with a K. And they are located in um, Ontario, I believe. Um, in here in Canada so I'm I don't think I need very much I'm just grabbing is this just, yeah okay just a bit on here so um, this is your part B is the paint and then part A is your catalyst that causes the paints to dry or cure and so I want equal amounts of both. I just eyeball it. Um, and then I'm going to mix it in. And I try to mix really well before I start adding in the thinner. Now, um, some use naphtha, but I can't find that. I don't know. I couldn't find it. I went to a few hardware stores, but anyhow, um, I just use the Mona Lisa paint thinner. And for me, whoops, I spilled a little. It works just fine. So, just going to mix that up really well. Oops. Now, I do prefer, since using the cornflower blue, which is a more of a, of a light um, blue, I'm trying to see it so I can describe it better, but it, you know, it's like, it's like a light blue. Um, blue with, it looks like it might have a hint of purple. I'm not really sure how to explain. It's a nice light blue though, and I have been using that in the coastal sense for um, painting vinyl, and I found that I really like that. So I'm just gonna take my sponge, and I'm just gonna rip off a little bit from the sponge. 
And then that way I can dab in the um, paint. And so here's the paint brush I'm going to be using. I actually use these brushes. Um, the bristles are a little, I don't know, they're not sticking together right now, but um, I use this brush for, um, well, veining for silicone, um, especially this teensy. And then usually I use it for eyebrows. So, um, but this one's for just silicone. Like I have one for silicone, one for acrylic air dry paint, and one for the Genesis heat set paint. So I got one for each because I don't mix um, mediums. Okay, so I'm just going to lightly, you know, make like a little wavy type line and you get quite a bit of like playtime I guess um, with silicone paints I, it trailed off on me <laughs> I lost some color so there we go and I'm just going to lightly go over that because I don't want to lose all of my veining. I want it to be nice and light. And that line, if I can talk today, looks a little skinny. I don't want too skinny of lines. And it looks like I've already lost the one that I brought over from the eye, so I'm just going to go over now all the mommies that have been getting these silicones from me, this is my third one haul, oh, <laughs> sounds like I've done like a million um, but, um, the ladies, the mommies, absolutely love their silicones, which is great. I hope I'm in frame for this, I think so. So, um, you know, I was thinking, like, do I really want to continue with silicone, um, or not, because... It is kind of a pain, at least for me, because it takes forever for the paint to dry. Um, and I've heard that uh, force curing, like with the hair dryer, can cause the paint not to stick very well. And I see a little hair here. So I just have um, some tweezers, and I'm trying not to grab her skin but just the hair I did see where somebody suggested keeping like a balloon around like to attract all the hairs to it but a balloon is generally latex and I if you have latex around um, latex will actually cause the silicone not to dry properly so I um, forgot to mention in the beginning, but you don't oops, um, want any latex products. So like my sponges, make sure the packaging says latex free if you're going to use these little sponges like I do. And I also use um, a sea sponge when I do... Um, the uh, mottling and other layers um, and just make sure that it says natural sea sponge on it because you know the other um, whatchamacallit <laughs> I'm trying to work and paint and think and the other ones might have latex and you won't know until you go to paint you know, you can test it first, but 
um, if you go to paint and that paint won't dry, of course, then you know that it's got latex in it and you definitely don't want that because then your paint's not going to dry, you'll have to wipe it off and start over. So, and I hear all kinds of um, notifications around here. That's what you get when you have a house full of electronics. Okay, so I'm trying not to, you know, overly touch places. But I do like to put my finger down as like a guide, but you have to be very careful because I don't want to smudge. Of course, and have to go back over or or it looks weird or something. I want a little bit thicker of a vein for her. I don't want it to look like I, you know, drew these on or something. Alright. Maybe I should have used a slightly thicker brush. That's okay. I don't want to have to switch or anything. It'll be okay for this. I don't know if the veins are showing up at all in the camera, but I really hope so. There's a hair I see. worry about getting the back of her ear there, so I'm kind of watching at the same time. I think I'm taking a little bit too much color away, and I don't want to do that. So I just blot a little bit lightly too of course like this really thin line here. It's gently going over and I've got another really thin oops line. I'll take some of that off. And we'll make that line across the bridge of the nose. 
And then also pull out that in. Oops. Some little fuzzy got on my sponge. I can't I can't really see that, so that's fine though. And then we also want to do our blue. I think I need need a thicker brush for that. She's got blue eyebrows now. Of course that's above where you put the eyebrows, but that's just what it looks like. It's funny. Sorry about the dog. There's a birthday party happening next door. And so there's people everywhere. Kids running around. So the dog's a little bit uptight. And it's quiet in here right now. Usually I have a YouTube video going while painting. But I don't want to get any like copies right, you know, strikes or anything. So no video is going right now. Now this is going to be a bald baby, at least for now. I don't, um, haven't rooted silicone yet. At least I've practiced a little, but I haven't, you know, really like mastered it or anything. So, and I want more um, practice before I start um, trying to root them. So, um, eventually I think I will, but right now, no. But I want to get one that's not reserved and then work on it, um, and then sell the baby, of course, as completed. Once I, you know, get to that point. Um, I do have one coming up, but she is reserved already as well. So you can't see my veining at all, but just barely. But that's what you want. You want to just not really see them so much in pictures, but you definitely want to be able to see them um, in person a bit. Not a whole lot, of course, just a little. I'm just adding that blue around her nose. why it kind of disappeared over here. So I'm just going to add a little bit more. Oops, and I'm pushing around my paintbrush. Here we go. This little one is going to be so cute. When she's done, I will definitely get a video of her when she's complete. Either, you know, before she goes home, she looks like she's drooling blue. Um, either before she goes home or 
um, when, oh shoot, I'm trying to think here, um, or when I've got her done, I guess, some sort of time, oh, now we're gonna have to listen to some music, another sort, some sort of device with an alarm on it. Okay, so I added a little bit of blue. Oh, I don't want that much blue on her. I just want it a little bit near her eye there. And then I'm going to put, oops, I keep touching her face. A little blue there next to her corner of her eye. Oh, whoops. I dropped the paintbrush. Okay. Oh. Now that I dropped it, I just want to make sure that I... Oh, it went off. Good. So this is just pure acetone. I don't know if you can see that in the dish back there. Um, and that's to clean my brushes. There we go. And now the brushes have split on me. Okay. I'm just trying to look her over. Um, I do want to add a touch to the in... Oh, there's a hair on there. Touch to the inside of her ear. And that's more than a touch. There we go. Just a little. And then... To this ear as well and then I will blot that in uh, too there we go so trying to think did I miss something I probably did so I forgot to do under under her little chin here there we go I think I want to Fuzzies. And I like to get them off before they stick. Okay. So there she is. I might want to put some blue in her nose. <laughs> and then we'll that may there we go have gotten now had I um, done the mouth first I would have added some blue to the roof of her mouth a little bit but that's quite alright so I think that looks pretty good I didn't do too much veining I don't think I do wish some of the lines were a little thicker. But maybe if I pull them out a little. Okay. And did I just see a hair? I did. And now I left a little spot. So, I'm going to have to wrap this up because I need to add the veining on her body while the paint is still good. So, thank you all so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video of Little Basil. I hope you have a good day.